Hi there and welcome, it's Tracy at stampwithtracy.com and today we're going to make this little snowman wallet. You open them up and you've got a gift card on one side and then a, you can write a sentiment or greeting on the other. And I've got little Velcro tabs here to hold it together. Now on this one, I don't know if you can see, I embossed with the softly falling embossing folder and I didn't do it on this one. This was the first one I made, and I think we're going to do this one with that same um, embossing. I thought it looked really nice, like snow for our snowman. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use a piece of designer series paper called Frosted Floral, and this is 8x8. Eight eight. You're also going to need your circle, your most white circle that I again embossed with Softly Falling, and then this is Pool Party and I use the layering circles framelits for both of these. Then you're going to need two pieces of Whisper White that measure 2 and 5 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths and two pieces of Pull Party that measure 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. There's a little punch board and do a little bit of scoring. This is the side we're going to use, but as you can see, both sides are really pretty. And this is done on shimmery paper, and I don't know if you can see it, but it just is beautiful paper. All right, so we're gonna line up our edge at three and one fourth, and punch and score. And then we're going to follow this line that we just made and line it up right there and punch and score and we'll do that all the way around. And on our last side here, punch and score. All right, now we have two large triangles and two smaller ones. We're going to take the smaller ones and round those corners. All right, now we're gonna bring in the um, paper trimmer and we're going to take those large ends and take that point and put it right there in the track and then down at the other end, which I know you can't see, but I've got it at the same spot. And then, let's make sure, and then we're going to score right down the center. We'll fold on all those score lines we just made. Now we're going to take those pointy edges on those large ends and we're going to take this point up to the score line that we have right here. Now there's a score line here and a score line there, so you just wanna kind of line those up. And then you'll fold and do it on the other end. Take that corner, that point, bring it up there, and then fold. Now we'll bring in our scissors, and we're gonna cut this piece out. So we'll just snip that off. This side's a little more awkward to get to, so I'm just gonna hold it like that so I can keep it, keep it flat. All right, and then we're gonna do that at the other, the other side. And then the way the wallet comes together is like this. And then it will fold in half. Oops, my little piece here. Let me just trim that. Okay, so to make that, we want to get our tear and tape. I'm going to add some right here on all, and then do it on all four sides. All 
right now we'll put it together. My paper trimmer go here. Now you don't want to put it on these sides because um, when you go to bring it up here, it may go, it probably will, see if you put it up there, it will go over and then you won't be able to get anything inside. There's our wallet. So now we'll work on the inside. We'll have both of these on each side. Now to put the gift card on here, I put a glue dot on each end and it's it's on there really nice and um, it's not going to go anywhere. So that can slip in there and then we'll put if you had two gift cards you could put um, the gift cards on both and then just write something on the back. So we've got those in for a cute little wallet. Now what I did use to secure it, I had mentioned, was Velcro dots. Now this is what I had, so this is what I used, but it's 3 4 inch diameter. If you found something smaller, that would probably work better. This is all I had, so I went with it. So I'm just going to attach attach those together they're nice and nice and sticky okay there we go and then I'll just put one there and then bring this one over and there, there we go so that's a nice nice way to have it closed now we'll work on the snowman for the front we'll go ahead and put this on that he's going to sit on. And we'll add stamping dimensionals to the back. I'll put that right, right there. Now the snowman I used, get my stamp and dimensionals aside, I used the Seasonal Chums stamp set. And I've been using this all week and you can check my blog to see all the different projects I've done. But it's got the cute reindeer, pumpkin, and the snowman and also some sentiments. And then it coordinates with the seasonal tags framelits. So again, it's got the pumpkin, the reindeer, the snowman, and then it has all of these as well. This is another tag, and I tend to forget that these are here. I focus just on the big ones. So what you'll want to do, the nice thing with these is that you get, oh, let me bring this in, you get the front and the back. So you can, like I said, make tags or you can cut it apart. Now when I did mine, I only inked up the front, but it will cut out the front and the back. So what you would do is ink it up. Now I inked the, the full, full part to show you. And then you will uh, run it through, you know, run it through your Big Shot and it'll come out looking like this. And it's got that little hole right there and then you can fold it in half and make a tag. Really cute. But since I'm not doing that, all I did was just take it here and just trim off that other half. And then you've got your snowman. Trim that a little bit better there. Okay, so that's really, um, that's really a fun set to use. So here's one that I already started um, coloring. And the colors I used were uh, uh, Dark Pool Party, Light Cherry Cobbler, Dark Pumpkin Pie, Old Olive, Light Old Olive, and then Light and Dark Smoky Slate. So I've already done the Pool Party and I've done the little um, little bunny there. So I thought I'd just finish, finish it here. Now I always like to put paper underneath because it will go through the paper and sometimes it'll go through um, you know, on your surface there. So I'm just going to color in the leaves. I'm not going to do any, any special blending with that. 
Now I do think I'm going to add a little bit more. This is I did light for the bunny, and I'm just going to apply light again. And it'll just make it look darker. So for his little tail there, I'll just add a little, little there for his ears. So now for the dark, I mean for the hat, I'm going to take some dark. I want to be sure this is dark. Dark smoky slate. I like to use with the smaller um, things to color in. I like to use the smaller end. So I'm just going to bring in the dark and then bring in the light and I'll pull that. All right, and then for the top, I'm just going to add light. And he's all ready. So I'm going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals, large ones, on the back, and then some mini dimensionals on the mittens. And then we'll add him to the front and we'll be all done. Oh, we're not done. Sorry, we still have to do the sentiment. All right, almost done. So we just have to say, we'll put the Merry Christmas. I'm going to use Memento, Memento ink. Now to make it easier on myself, because I don't like uh, taking a small piece of paper and trying to get a stamp on it, and I don't like freehanding it to, to, to cut it down just not my thing. So what I'm going to do is take this classic label punch and it just fits perfectly in here. So we'll get it in there, punch it, and now I'm going to trim the ends. That I don't have a problem with. It's just going straight, cutting straight up. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more at this end because I'm going to uh, put it underneath the circle. I'm going to add a couple of glue dots to the bottom. Not to the bottom, to the back. So I'll do them on this end. You don't want to do it all down, this, down the piece of paper because uh, it's, it's going to hang off of our circle. I'll just put that in there. And now we're done. Isn't that cute? So we've got three of them here, two with the with two with the snow, and then this one without. I hope this has given you an idea of how to give someone a gift card. All right, take care, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.